Hi, this is Sharon from Creating the Mind Space, coming to you from a rather miserable wet winter's day, uh, January in Bolton, England. Today I'm going to be making these, show these little toadstools. You see them, they are ever so tiny, ever so delicate. Some yellow ones there with green dots on them, one that I painted orange, some naked ones. What you need here is some pins. These are sewing pins, dressmakers pins, straight pins. They are one inch in length. I've got some air drying clay from Hobbycraft. Now, I've had this for a few months actually and I keep it in a um, plastic like Tupperware. I keep that there and put have a lid on it so that it is sealed from air so it doesn't dry and like i say that's lasted a few months um i've got a sponge this is a little bag with some soft toy stuffing inside i find that this works great as well equally as good as a sponge and that's because i didn't have a sponge last night i've got some red some yellow some white acrylic paints and various little bits and bobs that I'll show you as I go along. So I'm going to take some of my clay. Let's make sure that that is sealed. I normally put some cling film over the top. Is it Siran wrap, do you call it in the States? So I've got a little bit out. I'm going to take a little, a little bit like this. Just going to work, start working it with my fingers. You need to be quick because the longer you work it for, it will start to dry out. So you like wrap that around your pin. The flat head is up here and you roll that on your palm. And there it is. There is the um, mushroom, the length of the mushroom stalk. And we're just going to put that into there to dry. Now it's best to make a number of mushroom stalks at a time because once you start making them and if you put the heads on straight away the pin sometimes pushes through. Now this little mushroom here and you see I've got a little chubby um, stalk to it so I'll just show you how to make that. So I literally again got some of my clay wrapped it around so the straight pin bit at the top the flat head up there wrap this around and then all you need to do once you've got it all wrapped around nicely wrapped around is you start to push up from the bottom and can you see that sort of where it's gathered up there Beautiful, that is the base of your mushroom where you get that chunky base. Let's pop that in there. So now I'll show you how to make the top. <clears throat> Just sitting down for this. So I've got another a few things. I've got a pencil, then I've got a pen with a um divot in there. So it's like a hollowed out. I've got here some of the, uh, these are what nail artists use who do acrylic nail and nail art. I think they were about $1.99 off Amazon and some cocktail sticks. So let's get on to show you how, a number of ways to make the tops of the mushrooms. So you literally take a little circle of clay Work it in your fingers, make that circle, that ball, little circular ball of clay. Now, here you can get your pencil and push it in. And here it is, sorry, push it in. Do that again. And you get that lovely round shape. This is about my seventh take of this video because everything just keeps going wrong. So you get your domed shape, your mushroom top, and there it is inside. So just take one of your pre 
um, made stalks, push that into the wet and there is your mushroom and just pop that onto your into your sponge now then do you believe in fairies what do you think i am uh, a big fairy story fan and my daughters and son got me a book for christmas on fairies and it really inspired me to get back out in my garden because it talks about nature and fairies and how fairies are the caretakers of nature. So it's really inspired me. So although it's only January, I've been going out, having a look, seeing what bits and pieces I can do, picking up twigs and just trying to get on top of things. So this year I'm going to make sure I go out at least once a week and do some gardening. Last year I didn't at all. And the garden was an absolute mess. I think the fairies were angry with me. Here's the pen with the divot. And when you push that in, you get a different shape again. So let's just uh, go around the top there. Just check that is all all right. But when you open it up, can you see? You get that little sort of groove inside. So take your... And you get a deeper sort of side on these as well. Take your stalk, press that into the divot. And there you go. There's your next little mushroom waiting. They don't, do not all have to be the same, these, because I don't think there's any two mushrooms that actually are the same. I made, um, well, I'll just leave that to dry a little bit longer. I've done a thin, very thin base here it's just uh just want to file it down there's a few little sticky out bits so i've got some sandpaper just file that down and here i'm going to make the little tiny top uh, so you just get the small pe small piece again make the round and then what I did, these, these nail art tools, I got the biggest sort of ball on, the one with the biggest ball on the end. Push that in there, shaped it around the ball. I'd wash my hands, I don't know that. I don't know I've ended up with red. So shape it around the ball, pull the ball. You have to be so gentle. Pull the ball gently out. So you've made like the little cap of your mushroom there. Then get your mushroom head and just push it in. And that's how you get the little tiny heads. Let's pop that there. Uh, the pointed head. Let's have a look. I got a bigger piece of clay. Sort of worked out what size I wanted. Made my pointy shape, you know, just through moving it through my fingers. I've always believed in fairies. Um, I don't know. Do I believe the little people? Mm, I don't think they are black little humans. No, but they are little somethings and I do believe that they do watch or work with mother nature and you know like we have angels in heaven perhaps the fairies are the the ones on earth so again I'm just going to get one of these push that in a little pointed one there you know the and they watch over the gardens maybe never seen one but, you know, you see the fire, well, I've seen fireflies when I've been to America and they're uh, just amazing, aren't they? If ever I imagined what a fairy looked like, it would be like those little, little lights. So there's that. So because these are all magical, you can be as creative as you want to be. So I do like that one that I've just popped in there. This little chunky... Uh, stem I made earlier. Let's get a little bit of clay. 
let's make it round. Let's get the pen with the divot in the top. So what I did when I started making these is I just um, played really with different thing implements to see which I like best. And these are the ones. So I'll just check that shape. Now this is one that I made earlier. You see how it's gathered up base there. And I just push that into there, into that. And that is my little tiny, it actually does look like a little tiny button mushroom. Let's put that in there. Right, painting them. Whoop, come back. So let's pop. Oh, painting them. I'm going to tuck you over here. So I just got some ordinary red acrylic that I got from Hobby Craft. Hobby Lobby, I think it is in the States. So I got my red. I'm just going to show you with the red, I don't, because they're all, it's all the same. Give it a shake into the lid. Get my uh, mushroom. Here we are. I've got my paintbrush. Let me just dry it off. So I've got my paintbrush here, just a narrow one. And the paste takes the uh, acrylic really, really well. So you just move it around on its pin. In the next video I do, I will show you things to do with these mushrooms and other things to make to go with the mushrooms, especially if you want to create a fairy garden. I find this so therapeutic because you have to really concentrate. The reason I didn't do the fairy festival this year, this 2023, last year I should say, is because of stuff going on at home anyway. That's why I create, set up creating the mind space because I found crafting is so there we go. Crafting is so therapeutic when it comes to taking your mind off things. Um, let's push that in there. Crafting is so therapeutic. So doing this is really helping me. So I'm creating things for my um very festival so you get a little toadstool here's one that i have already painted white no i haven't i've already painted it red so i've got some white acrylic i've got my trusty um what's it called cocktail stick and i'm just dipping it in my white paint and then I'm just literally going to do this. There we go. And that is all you need to do. And I've squidged out enough white paint here to last me probably about a month worth of these. Uh, making these little toadstools. So I'm going to be very busy the next couple of hours or so making them because I hate wasting anything I think I'll be able to get some back in but not all of it there we go you twist it round and you think oh I'll just put another one on there do you remember the stories where you used to break a piece off and eat it if you don't like it I'm not advising you to break a piece off and eat it Saying the fairies would do, they'd break a piece off and eat it. So, if you're not happy with it, you can just rub it off and repaint it. Otherwise, pop it, pop it in your um, sponge and let it dry. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm Sharon from Creating the Mind Space. Um, keep watching this series i've got a few other things to show you as time goes along 
what we're going to do with these and how we're going to develop them into different types of fairy gardens and secret gardens and magic gardens and things like that. So take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.